Hi, this is Dr. Spizak with Spring Hill Equine, and today we are talking about body condition scoring of goats and sheep. Now the most important thing to know about body condition scoring of goats and sheep is that it is not a visual score. You actually have to put your hand on the animal and feel some things in order to get a score. What I like to do is place my hand on their lumbar spine. It's gonna be directly in front of these hip bones. I'm gonna feel her dorsal spinous processes under my palm, her transverse processes with my fingers, and her transverse processes on the other side with my thumb. I'm going to place my hand down, apply a little bit of pressure, and move my hand back and forth. Body condition scoring in goats and sheep is done on a one to five point scale, which is different than most other animals, which is a one to nine point scale. The way we score them, a three out of five is a perfect average goat, um, a one is an emaciated animal, and a five is an obese animal. I'll describe a three out of five, which again is about perfect, and then I'll go down to ones and twos and up to fours and fives. So again, we're feeling our dorsal spinous processes and our transverse processes, and all of those bony prominences should feel like they have a smooth, rounded covering on them in a three out of five. You should be able to get your fingers just a little bit under the transverse processes on the side with a little bit of pressure, and you should feel a nice smooth line from the middle of the back down to the transverse processes of muscle with a little bit of fat covering. Now just under that is a score of a two out of five, and for those it's gonna be easier for you to feel those bony prominences, but there's gonna be less of a smooth covering over top, and instead they're gonna feel a little bit sharper. A one out of five, again, is a relatively skinny animal, so you are going to feel sharp, um, uh, not smooth, bony processes of the dorsal spinous processes and the transverse spinous processes, and your fingers should fit really nicely under the transverse processes, almost like you can pick the animal up by their dorsal spine. If you do put your hand on your goat or your sheep and you feel that they are a one out of five, that warrants a call to your veterinarian to get them some care. Now, above a three, some overweight animals, a four out of five, we are gonna have a more difficult time differentiating the individual spinous processes. In that lumbar region, there should be three separate bones there and that you can feel. So if you have a hard time counting that there's three separate bones there, they're probably on the upper end of the scale. You're gonna feel a lot of fat covering over top, and you might even feel that from the middle of the back to the side, there's some roundedness to the muscle, and you are not gonna be able to get your fingers up under the transverse processes. Now, a five out of five is pretty uncommon in goats and sheep, but if you do have an obese animal that's a five out of five, you can only tell they have a spine there because there's a dimple in their back between the fat. So you will not be able to feel dorsal spinous processes and you will not be able to palpate the transverse spinous processes. If you do think you have an animal that's a five out of five, that again warrants a call to your veterinarian to talk about some dieting and nutrition talks. All right, so this is a good reminder to go put your hands on the backs of your goats and feel their body condition score. You cannot do it visually. That is because goats and sheep are ruminants that have this nice fermentation vat that fills up and decompresses throughout the day, making them look fatter and skinnier in the morning and the afternoon. So instead, we have to put our hands on their backs, feel their bones, muscle, and fat, and that's how we get our body condition score. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for a ton more goat content and horse content.